Futures trading involves risk and is not suitable for all investors. Content provided in this segment is meant for educational purposes and is not a solicitation to buy or sell commodities. All right. Thank you, Maya, for the lovely introduction. And welcome to another episode of Basis Loaded. This week's NDPSR report is packed full of information, so let's dive right in, starting with butter. This number at 175.72 represents a plus five to the CME weekly average of 170.90. So a really impressive number for the second week in a row, plus five positive basis. However, once again, the volume is meager, only one 0.3 million pounds so at least 2 million pounds short of the average so the manufacturer is getting a good price for butter however not moving a lot of weight and you would have to assume that that butter is moving into the cooler and we'll see an increase in inventories on the next cold storage report and now to the probably the highlight of this report cheese block cheese at 277.37 represents a flat basis to the CME one week average of 277.85. And what's interesting is on that flat basis, we had blockbuster volume, over 14 million pounds. So well above volume, the manufacturer was able to move a lot of product at this elevated level. And it's interesting because this week at the CME, we were 277.85. Next week, 283. The following week, we dropped to 261. And then of course this week, you know, we're still waiting to see where the bottom is. So next week, the one week average high 283, it'll be interesting to see how much of that gets in. I'm actually calculating a little bit of a down tick in the block, thinking that there's a little bit of anticipation of this break that we're now seeing on the CME. And then moving on to the barrel, 245.92, really impressive number there. That represents a plus six to the two week average of 239.70. Volume lagging a little bit. It's not the same volume story in the barrels as it was in the blocks. A little bit lower than expected volume. And then moving on to way, a little bit of a surprise here to the upside on way. 35.96 compared to the CME weekly average of 29.25. So a full six cents over. The CME weekly average that 29.25 was the weekly low at the CME. And what we have here is essentially the high NDPSR print for July pricing to get a higher price. You have to go back to the last week of June. So a really impressive number and also on good volume, five and a half million pounds. So we're able to move some product way demand appears to be fairly robust. And then lastly, nonfat. Uh, 9767 that is a five cent discount to the CME weekly average of 102.50 now lately using the CME to as a harbinger for what the NDPSR non-fat price is going to be has been a little bit difficult I would say it's almost as difficult as walking down a gently sloping ramp in a new pair of loafers it's tough there seems to be little correlation other than it's just negative and what's even more depressing about this non-fat number is 97.69. Sure, that's a terrible price, but they also weren't able to sell anything, only 14 million pounds. So disappointing price and volume here for the fourth week of five for July pricing. And as this is the fourth week, it's pretty good. It's a good idea to throw out our final guesstimate for the settlements, I currently have class 3, 24, 53, with a class 4 of 13.69. So almost an $11 spread between class 3 and class 4, which is just absurd. And you would say that you're going to see a lot of milk flowing into cheese with that huge differential. But I think we have milk going into all utilizations, uh, class 1 through class 4, as well as I'm hearing reported even being fed to calves. Uh, which is a shock rather than milk replacer just because of the ample supplies of milk that we have out west. So it'll be interesting to see 
where prices on the CME go, we've already headed south. Uh, futures in August indicating a push towards $2 on the CME. We'll see if spot players have similar plans. Uh, until next week, I'm Joe on behalf of Paige. As always, thanks so much. Bye-bye. Thanks for watching RDTV. If you enjoyed that, be sure to subscribe. And if you have any questions, leave us a comment below or send us an email. You can also follow Rice Dairy on Facebook, Twitter, and LinkedIn. See you next week.